morning all bright and early 8am Saturday morning it's chucking it down with rain and it's decidedly cold but we're out test riding GT Max 50 look at this great little scooter in blue 50cc a lot bigger than the Lexmoto Echo a little bit more stable better road holding decent set of tyres on it nice wide mirrors loads of foot room and you've got little foot plate there for your pillion passenger get your feet up there right on the key turn the key pops a seat USB charger little pot to hold your phone start kill button and then you've got the horn indicators lights that's all you need on one of these but the mirrors super super wide look at the road view behind me there great little bike right we're off for a ride test we're down at the garden centre how are we getting on with our EV charging point well look they've got one more to put in over there and I was chatting with the guys yesterday I said to them oh well four EV charging they said no actually there's eight there is one each side so you can park eight cars in here even more horrendous loads of electric cars my thing absolutely not right we're off on the GT Max now obviously being a Saturday morning it's decidedly quiet why is that because they had the Milton Keynes Halloween party yesterday at the stadium which meant that we had all the 80s supergroups living joy and all that sort of stuff and all the malarkey of the 80s and the 90s there Pink Punters, which is this place here, shut at half past six this morning and they all stay here at the Campanile Hotel. It just so happens my next door neighbour is the manager there. And uh, I gave her a lift in this morning. So, she's there. Pink Punters was mad last night with the Halloween party. We're off for a poddle around the town and have a little bit of fun and get about five miles. First test ride on this bike being a 50 means I can do 30 mile an hour now what's the road holding light as you ease off and the braking engine braking cuts in and you may notice the matey boy there pushing his little trolley now he is one of the uh, attractions of Bletchley he wanders around with the shopping trolley collecting old cans and scrap out the bins and takes it down the scrapyard good for him he is homeless but he's doing something and earning a crust yes he just goes around collecting scrap and the old scrap boys take his scrap and uh, give him a little bit of cash for it so good on you sir good on you collecting your scrap metal and not uh, milking the government for everything you can get and someone ought to give him a house or something you can slow down yes so puddle around town what's the gt50 like well if you haven't seen my previous test rides of the GT50, I think these are wonderful little 50cc scooters. A little bit bigger, as I say, than the Lexmoto Echo. It gets the speed a bit quicker. But for the size, and you're a lot higher up, and it looks a bit bigger than a 50, it is a good bit of kit. It does the job. So, wandering off to college, or uh, going out to... Uh, with your mates for a ride and a blast around on your 50 you can take these straight up to 30 mile an hour you haven't got to wear the engine in and 29 which isn't bad at all nice big speedo there your revs around the top your fuel gauge is on the left and across the right hand side is your battery charge level yes you get a battery charge level it tells you how your battery's doing currently charging at 13.2 which is what it should do for all bikes around 13 to 13 4 should be a charge coming back into the battery on a 12 volt battery but it's decidedly cold wet windy i think everyone's suffering hangovers this morning so uh, means i can get out and test ride and there's potholes everywhere again you can tell it's winter because all the potholes start opening up in the winter and bletchley is horrendous for it just look at the manhole covers and oh god horrible avoid those things avoid manhole covers especially when it's wet or icy slippy slippy times but i've got to worry about a speed camera and we shall see after the chaos yesterday if you saw the uh, nico ride that i did the alex one they shut all the roads in bletchley yesterday to do a bit of resurfacing work right at midday well done uh, milton king's council for getting their timings absolutely spot you know spot on so what have they done oh 
bit of road resurfacing going on here. Oh, they've got rid of all the potholes around the middle. Way! It's a shame they didn't uh, join the old road to the new road a bit better. Look at the state of it. Good God. And that's all they've done. This little bit here. That was it. That's all they've done. Just a little bit of road resurfacing. Have they done any down here? Because they completely shut this road off. And it was a nightmare yesterday. So all the traffic was diverting up our road past the garage. No one could get to Tesco's and do their shopping. Oh, you poor people. What are we going to do without a loaf of bread and a pint of milk? And they've done absolutely nothing down here. Well done. Good old Milton Keynes Council. But 29 mile an hour, we're racking around. This is good. And obviously once these engines start loosening up, they get a little bit quicker. Get a couple more mile an hour out of it. But the amount of people that I get messaging me on YouTube and via my uh, emails, Hey RB, how can I de-restrict this 50? You can't. Your licence is 28 miles an hour. And obviously if you're hacking around doing 40 on a 50 and PC plods behind you and he's monitoring your speed, you are going to get a tug. And they're going to want to know why your bike is doing 40 mile an hour because you are what they class as not riding in accordance with your license for 30 mile an hour at 16. Obviously if you're an older rider, you can open it up a bit. But you still should be doing 30 miles an hour. So don't bother de-restricting, all you're going to do is stress the engine, stress all the components. These are designed for 30 miles an hour. If you want something faster, wait till you get to 17, do your CBT, and go and get a 125, or go and do your Mod 1 and Mod 2 and get a big boy's bike. But then you're obviously limited on horsepower until you get to 21, 24. Right, we are 2.7 miles in, come on bike, I need more miles. Climbing the hill, and as I say, on all these bikes, they always do about 25 mile an hour up a hill, which is what it's doing. And one more go round the block, and then back to the garage. I made Phil a cup of coffee this morning. I said, there's my coffee, there's yours. All right. Oh, damn, I've got a test ride to do. So hopefully, by the time I get back, my little uh, thermos flask cup that I have has kept the heat in. Normally it does. Either that or I'll get the jet, jet boil out and warm it up again. Because I do have my jet boil in the workshop this week. It's quicker for me to actually make a brew with my jet boil than it is to put the kettle on. Stick my jet boil on, two minutes later, water's boiling. But I am using quite a, well, about my third canister of gas this week. Because the jet boil is a damn sight quicker. Fingers are getting decidedly nipping this morning as well. I'm going to need to change up and put the winter gloves on. Yes, we have got the Super Sausage Run tomorrow, but the outside cafe is closed, which means everyone's going to have to have a 20-minute queue to get a cup of tea, which isn't going to be good, so we shall get there early. <coughs> Another quick one to watch out for, November the 19th, NEC Bike Show. We are going up, and we are meeting at the front doors, 9 o'clock, and I believe Peaky's going, Stu Zedhead is coming down, we're going to try and get Lockwood down, all the boys from all the motor vlog communities are all going to meet up at the front doors at 9 o'clock, so if you want to come and meet all the motor vloggers, and uh, obviously Teapot One is going to be there, Richie Vida, Lamb Chops, and of course the other guy with the bald head that I don't talk about, he's going to be there as well, but come and meet the motor vloggers, that'll be a day out, if you're looking for me, just look for the Rev Bomb jacket. I'm going to have my uh, Rev Bomb jacket on, my nice one with the big logo on the back, so you can't miss me. As always, if you enjoyed the video, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you reckon to these. Three and a bit miles in, and I shall put the rest on next week before we hand the bike over to the customer. But the bike's riding fine. And people say, why do you put test miles on a bike? I picked my bike up. It had one mile on it, yes. You're only going to find an issue after about 10 miles. If a bike's going to play up, it's going to play up on the first test ride. Nothing worse than handing a bike over. You take it around the block, put it up, give it to the customer. There's your bike, he takes it away, and then he gets a problem six miles in. And it's back in the garage. Warranty work costs money. So, till the next time, guys, be well, ride safe, and from RB, it's a big goodbye from me.